This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a collection of two new mods and one updated mod from Random Sparks, who has published these over on his Facebook. Uh, first up, we've got an updated bale spear that has connection points for wheel loader, front loader, skid steer, telehandler, and now three-point attachment and I have to say this thing when configured like this it looks like an evil um, probably mid medieval beast from like you know the the Middle Ages with all of these spikes then we've got a pretty cool warrior bucket or front loader or skid steer and then we've got an MDS bucket with grapple or wheel loader front loader and telehandler see over there one of the great uses for the grapple is to basically pick up a bale and move it around so you can now have basically one tool to clean up an animal area and basically feed um, bales because you've got that big old grapple claw claw down on top of a round or square bale so let's take a look at some of these in action. Let's toggle over to the front. Of course, we've got just a standard bale spear. I mean, it's good for probably picking up one bale at a time, uh, simply because it does not have a big back on it. It's extra wide, so you can get spikes into the full width of a square bale. Or you might be able to, if you're good, spike two round bales with this thing. And what's there to say? It's a bale spike. It spikes bales. Holds them in place. But then where I think it really shines is now in the three-point hitch configuration. Because we can adjust the three-point hitch. Lower it down we want. We can tip it whatever angle we want. And back into back into the veil here so and then we can lift the bale up tilt it this point and now we can uh, well if we're careful we can haul around three bales without too much of a hassle great for uh, Great for driving some bales around the farmyard, I think. As you can see, they're on there fairly well. Unless we do something silly, we're not going to knock these things off. That is the MDS bale grab. Drop these down pull out and then we could basically feed pay that way should we so wish all right let's get this out of the way and then hook up to this bucket not much to say about the bucket other than the fact that it's a bucket Talk a little bit about its capacity when we get into the shop. But overall, I think, you know, it's nicely proportioned. I think it's color selectable. We'll take a look at that in the shop. And this thing is a bit big for front loader, I think. way we use the grapples is we left we right click and basically then up and down 
sorry, left and right. Got a trackball, and sometimes it's hard to tell am I moving it up or down or left or right. So if we right click and move it left or right, we will grapple onto a bale. Go over here and see about grabbing these two bales. We just dropped. Do it right, we can grab two bales. Better like that. Then right click. Clamp on down those things. That's it. It's a little hard to grapple too. Gotta grab them just right. Pretty easy to just, just to grapple one. You bring the bucket up here to it. Wall down on that thing, and there we go. Now we can move it around however we want, while at the same time having a fairly nice sized bucket to do anything else, like uh, clean up the animal mess, or if we are doing TMR mixing, we use the bucket to grab our silage and such. Let's take a look at these in the store. So they're kind of scattered around which led me to a little bit of confusion initially. So the bale grabs can be found here under front loaders. Oops. Bale grabs are, where are they? Oh, the bale grabs, sorry, are under bailing technology. Sorry. They should have been, in my opinion, over under front loaders, but they're under bailing technology, $1,500. Change the color on them, did you so wish. They come in wheel loader, skid steer, front loader, three point, and back to $1,500. If you, uh, $1,500. I thought they were cheaper. In oh. $1,500, $76 to lease them. $15 per day, $31 per operating hour on the bale spears. Then we've got, over in animals, we've got the, the MDS Warrior Bulk Handling Bucket, $3,250. Pretty much handles all of the standard crop types. It is color selectable to some degree, and you can get it in front loader, skid steer, those are the only two options. Let's take a look. $16.50. Let's take a look and see how the front loader bucket is. $940. So it is almost double the capacity of the stole bucket. And $12.84. It's more higher capacity than the high dump bucket. On the um, on the skid steer. Let's take a look at the grapple. Oops. Now the MDS grapple bucket, thirty-five hundred dollars, thirty-two hundred and fifty liters. So it holds a lot more. Again, it has all of the standard build types that come on the map. And this one is also color selectable. We have telehandler attachment. We've got wheel loader attachment. Front loader attachment, and that is it. $178 to lease, $75 or $35 per day, $73 per operating hour. And I have to say, this bucket looks a lot better, I think, on the telehandler than on a front loader just because of its size. Looks a little big on front loader, but telehandler, you might think it's a little big, but I think it would work. Doesn't look too far out of place. Let's compare that to the telehandler bucket. Telehandler bucket is 2640 as far as capacity and the $800. Does have a little greater capacity, is a little bit more expensive. But if you figure that maybe you could get by in not having to purchase bale grabs or bale spikes also, then it might be that 
Hey guys, let me know in the comments what do you think of this trio of mods from Random Sparks. And until next time, happy farming.